We're going to get you eating healthy and feeling great about it on the show this morning because Nicole Pajorko is here. She's a dietitian with Food City and every time she comes our way, A, she brings a lot of optimism and encouragement and such pretty foods, it makes you want to eat healthy. So good to see you. Exactly. And that um, is really important, I think. Uh, the palatability and the aesthetics, of course, uh, go into how we make decisions about our food. Well, too. I sat down here and I kind of saw my eye really begin on that end. Mm -hmm. And I was working my way over and then I stopped at the pretty. I mean, look at those kebabs. And color is yes. your kind of key that you're doing it the right way, right? 100%. So March, as you know, is National Nutrition Month with the goal to inspire healthy choices in people. And my plate is a great way to start um, building a balanced plate. It's a simple tool to kind of help visualize that. And of course, the, the first staple is half the plate, fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But what we often neglect is consuming a variety of different vegetables that represent with different colors that mm -hmm. represent different nutrients. And our Food City shortcuts make it a little bit easier to do that because they're washed, they're prepped, they're ready to go. Throw it on the grill, throw it in a breakfast bowl, a smoothie, whatever you like. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk about your fruit for mm -hmm. a minute because I noticed you have blackberries and blueberries in here. Yes. People have long known the benefits, the antioxidants of mm -hmm. blueberries. Yes. But blackberries have their own benefit, right? Yes, absolutely. So uh, blackberries and raspberries are going to be a little bit higher in fiber, which is key, of course. Mm. American Americans tend to only consume about half of the recommended daily value for fiber, um, which helps to lower cholesterol, improve blood sugar, and can help with weight management as well. So on the fiber side of things, is that why you're bringing in like the quinoa and yes. that type of Yes, grain? absolutely. So another principle in kind of my plate messaging is to um, choose more whole grains. That's a simple way, at least uh, making half your grains whole grains is a great way to increase your fiber intake. Mm -hmm. And so that means, you know, for spaghetti night, if your family's having spaghetti, choosing whole wheat options, that's going to give you about four more grams of fiber per serving. Um, another great option, if you're maybe not sold on whole wheat, good wheat pasta I like. So you kind of get the taste and flavor of white pasta, mm. but it has four times the uh, fiber that you would oh. get in normal pasta. And I think that the fiber content we're supposed to eat, I mean, it's quite high mm -hmm. and very few of us get that. Yes. So for women, the fiber recommendation is about 25 grams per serving and for men it's about 30 grams 30 per to 30 serving? or sorry per day I was gonna say <laughs> no day. wonder we're not getting that it. would be that would be a lot and we <laughs> tend to consume about 13 grams per day per day so okay. choosing more of these quinoa is unusually complete in protein but you're also going to get the fiber content and then for granola you're going to get the fiber because it's got the whole uh, whole grain oats. Mm -hmm. Make sure you choose a lower sugar option too. Yeah, because part of their charm can be that they do have a lot of sugar in a there. A lot of sugar, sometimes a little bit more fat, so it tends to be pretty calorie dense, but mm -hmm. sticking to that serving recommendation with a little bit of yogurt for some protein and adding some fruit and you've got a beautiful balanced breakfast. Okay, I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> okay, something else that caught my eye are these little tuna packets. Yes. Because what a great thing to take for you to, with you to work. Yes, absolutely. I love these for their convenience. And another recommendation is diversifying our protein. So beyond just chicken and beef, those are fine to consume, but choosing more plant-based proteins and seafood. Mm -hmm. Seafood is going to provide DHA, which our body doesn't naturally produce. Mm -hmm. We need to consume it in our diet, so seafood choices a couple days a week. However, cooking it can be kind of intimidating, so I love these for lunch options. They're super convenient. You can just throw it in your lunch box. Yeah. Make a traditional tuna or you know salmon salad, or even just throwing it on a green salad. But you know, if you are a seafood eater, which we are at our house, one of the charms about seafood is that it cooks so fast. Yes. So that's our go-to on the days that we're getting home late mm -hmm. and have to get a quick meal on the table. Not only does it cook fast, but it also thaws pretty quickly comparatively. Yeah. So if you got some frozen, um, individually portioned seafood, we mm -hmm. I love the Full Circle Market brand. That's great for salmon, for um, for cod. Mm -hmm. Those are gonna thaw way quicker than you know a package of beef or a package of chicken. Um, if you have kids at home, I remember the days of trying to subtly sneak in things and it's never subtle. They always find a way of finding the green that they don't want to eat or yeah. whatever. Yep. Um, but if you can get them to eat salads, 
that's a good way to add in things like the beans. Can't yes. you put those in your salad? 100%. And you know, we tend to think of salads as some lettuce and maybe tomato, lots of super veggie heavy green salads, but it doesn't have to be like mm. that. We love bean salads, absolutely. Throwing in some beans for fiber, some corn, some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And so maybe that will be a little bit more appetizing to children, especially. I've heard too that like if you have a taco night, yes. take some black beans and just kind of smash them in there and the kids never even know. Absolutely, it's like just like refried beans, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they're not gonna know the difference. That's perfect. Um, putting it with some ground beef maybe, and then you're upping the fiber content and you're getting a lot more nutrition. Okay, in terms of shopping you at Food City, I know that people are very accustomed to picking up the flyers and things when they come shopping. So in the month of March, do y'all have any recipes you're promoting? Well, we always, I always recommend our Dish and a Dash recipes, and we come out with new ones pretty much every month. And um, I love to talk about those because they are designed to be prepared in 30 minutes or less. Oh, that's great. And they pair fresh produce with some canned better for you pantry staples that you may already have in your cupboard mm -hmm. or are pretty cost effective to include. Okay. It's always fun when you're here. Well, thank you so much we for really having love me. It. I love talking to you. And you know where your closest food city is to use. So just shop them, uh, use them as a resource, and embrace the fact that March is National Nutrition. There you go.